A rough rescue for a dog stuck in five feet of snow in Tahoe, but he is finally back home with his owner tonight. And turns out the dog had actually been missing since August. I talked with the rescuers who found him cold, cranky, and growling stuck in that snow. What they had to do next to get him out and then down the mountainside is pretty amazing. When December dumped mountains of snow in Tahoe, caught in the middle of it was three year old pit bull mix, Russ. So dogs are strong and smart and they can survive a very long time. We had, did not know the situation with this dog or how long he had been out there. Try four months. Russ's owner, a traveling nurse, was in Tahoe when the Caldor fire swept through. Forced to leave when the city was evacuated, Russ ran off, never to be seen again until now on a mountainside stuck in snow five feet deep. So I followed the tracks and all of a sudden saw this dark shape underneath the tree and then he opened his eyes and I'm pretty sure I screamed. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Elsa heard me down the mountain. <laughs> Tahoe Paws volunteers Leona Allen and Elsa Gull walked me through their uphill battle on snowshoes and with a sled to get Russ to safety. And I kind of petted him under the chin a little bit and then he just did the, you know, where a dog rests their head in your hand. The sweetest thing on the planet. Just, just the most amazing dog. Where it's like, he's here. Okay, now what's next? And we didn't really think about that. So I look over at Leo and I go, how do you feel about riding down in the sled with him on your lap? <laughs> we slid down and we kind of tipped over. <laughs> and we decided that that was the end of the sleigh ride. The end of an adventure and now the beginning of many more for Russ. Just, it was so heartwarming, especially around the holidays. It's the end of the year. I mean, the year was, you know, so hard on everybody. And then just to have this really happy ending and to be able to be a part of that was, you know, it's pretty special. <laughs> Yeah, what a wonderful team and so lucky for Russ and his owner. It took some digging by El Dorado County Animal Control, but with the help of a microchip and a missing dog report filed in August, they were able to track down Russ's owner. Tahoe Paws stresses pets have a registered microchip and current name tags. Very important.